All right, and boom. What is up, everybody? It's me, J Rod, the filmmaker, former film major, frequent fighting gamer from Philadelphia, and we are back with another character reaction, a gameplay reveal trailer for Mortal Kombat 1's Chaos Reigns. We talked about this last week. We got a bunch of teasers for Sector, her official gameplay slash story trailer, and then they announced that today, September 4th, was the day we're going to be getting said gameplay slash uh, story trailer. And September 4th is significant because I believe Chaos Reigns comes out September 25th. Oh yes, 24th, so 20 more days. Um, it, when they first announced it, it seemed like, whoa, we're getting all of this so soon? And now it's even sooner than it was back then. Um, I was just thinking about, I can't remember the last time I woke up at 9 a.m. to react to a Mortal Kombat trailer, but maybe it was Takeda. I know Cyrax's trailer was like middle of the day. That was the last trailer we reacted to. The Chaos Reigns trailer itself was like middle of the day, even kind of late for Chaos Reigns because that was during a Comic-Con panel. And I think the last trailer before that was Takeda's trailer. So if that one was a 9 a.m. trailer, then that would be the last one that I reacted to early in the morning. But think about, like, Takeda was the end of year one, and this is the beginning of year two, and how close the two are. Like, they didn't waste any time. The same week that Takeda dropped is the same week that we got all of these brand new announcements for Chaos Reigns coming, bringing three new characters, animalities, and new story content, and then three more guest characters coming soon. So it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Everything is moving fast, but I'm very excited for it. I still love Mortal Kombat 1. Haven't really been playing it a lot online this season because I don't really like the Combat League skins, but I still cannot wait to get back on this game. I've been like looking at, now Sonic Fox plays Takeda, so I've been looking at a lot of new Takeda tech since the last patch. I've been looking at a lot of new cameos that got buffed, and new Gears tech, courtesy of the player Demoralize, and I still play a little bit of Kenshi. I, there's nothing really new with Kenshi, he's the exact same, but he got a couple new skins. He got a free skin, the last character to get a free skin, and then there's also a new skin this week as like the weekly challenge, uh, weekly challenge skin, so I'm gonna unlock that too, and then have two new Kenshi skins to use, but, I think, you know, that's all that's new so far. It's only a little bit, but that's because we're about to get this massive Chaos Reigns update that I can't wait for. So I'm going to switch over to the reaction camera. We're going to check out Sector's trailer, and then we're going to watch it over and over again and talk about it. So, boom. I already got it up. I am ready for this. So without further ado, let's check out the Mortal Kombat 1 Chaos Reigns official Sector gameplay trailer now in some of my past sector reaction things i call sector cyrax i mix the two up i will not do that today all right this is sector we already got cyrax's i'm a bigger fan of cyrax i like cyrax's like human design um even before chaos reigns i like the original human design for cyrax i had been asking for so long for them to go back to the human design for cyrax um because in mk11 cyber cyrax literally begged sub-zero like please make me a human again like you did in MK9. And then they kind of didn't do anything with it. So I'm happy that we finally got some form of the human designs back for these characters. But if Sector can help it, they might be going back to Cybers. So we will have to see. But either way, we're going to get into it right now. And we're going to check it out. Let's do it. Ooh, yo, there's a Jackie Briggs Umgadi. Welcome to the party, baby doll. Oh, we got a closer look name? at the call me Sector. New Johnny Chaos skin. I'll call you anytime you want. <laughs> it's like a Johnny Cage I World War II vet. Vision for the Lin Kuei. We won't be bound by Liu Kang's limits. I like this music. Oh, Chameleon. Wait, Chameleon, are you trading? Resources. Oh, there's a slide. Oh, wait, this new Myself Chaos Katana. Future. That's kind of hard. Ilk cling to an anemic past. You and Sub Zero won't earn the Empress's mercy. Once said, her mind doesn't change. We are not fighting for her mercy. We are fighting for our lives. 
Okay, so it seems like Chameleon is on Sector's side. And we also got some voice lines for Chameleon. Wait, that wasn't a new... Oh, that was a new gotcha grab. Jax grabbed the other cameo. What the fuck? There will be anarchy. Oh. So that is going to be how sub becomes new. Longing for sub zero's safe return. Oh, Ermac. Seek chaos. You defend order. Oh. Stick, stick, stick. Oh, the homing uh, rocket. Oh, oh, damn, a ground pound. She looks like Homelander there. She does have a flamethrower. She has a float plus a jump. Hey, yo, the fatal blow is kind of insane. Our goal is unchanged. God damn, she kicking everybody. <laughs> Yo, Sector, chill. All right, fatality time. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Space is crazy. Space is crazy, gang. That kind of reminds me of uh, Peacemakers but just way more intense. And she's a rhino. Well, damn. Well, damn. I, that was a lot, bruh. There was so much, like I was trying to focus on the gameplay, but the story stuff was happening so fast. There was definitely a new uh, Jax move. And also, okay, so we're starting to get a bigger idea of the story where it seems just like it still seems like it's Sub-Zero versus Scorpion. But with our new characters, Cyrax and Sector, it seems like Cyrax is taking Scorpion's side eventually, not from the beginning, but at some point in the story, she kind of switches over to Scorpion's side. Whereas Sector is still trying to do the will of Sub-Zero. So that puts them kind of at odds, which honestly, that's that's kind of what I asked for in my Mortal Kombat 12 uh, predictions. I said there should be a like civil war between Lin Kuei and Shirai Ryu, where characters are forced to pick sides, and that's that's kind of what we're seeing a little bit, because we're seeing like the Umgadi split up. Oh man, hold on, hold on. We're seeing the Umgadi split up with Chameleon picking sides. Who is this though? Wait, who is that that they hit first? Is that Tanya? No, that's that's one of the Havocs, I guess. Interesting. All right, now we're just gonna watch the gameplay segment. Mm -hmm. We saw this combo before, but it ends in a slide. Oh, and that might be an overhead rocket. Mm. I don't think uh, Goro's grab did anything new. I think it's the same. Hey, yo, they froze Gearus. No, this is probably how he gets captured. We are fighting for our lives. Yeah, I think that that throw, that air throw, was the same, but this throw, bro, <laughs> cameo on cameo violence. Liu Kang looks like he gets beat way too easy. Oh, and there's the like chaos, uh, Kenshi and Takeda in the background. Also, I'm wondering, so. He, they're at the what is the name the hanging gardens no the great hall they're at the great hall in adenia which is like the throne room of i guess now melina is empress katana is probably uh still princess now that sindel was gone in the story mode and 
this seems like it takes place after the wedding where there was already beef between Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Maybe a little bit of beef between Cyrax and Sector, but they're all there at this event and they all get attacked by Titan Havoc. So maybe they sort of try to come together and come to some sort of consensus and agreement and actually meet up and, you know, you know, deal things out, give some sort of order and some sort of truce between the Shirai Ryu and the Lin Kuei factions. And then it seems like Titan Havoc just shows up and is like, no, chaos, and attacks them. They all start fighting, and then I don't know what happens. You know, I don't know if he takes something when he leaves, but Sub-Zero goes after him. That might have been his plan all along, was just to come up and get Sub-Zero, because we know what's going to happen to Sub-Zero when Chaos Havoc gets his hands on him. That's how we get Noob Saibot. And then I guess after that, it's more of like a quest for Sector to get Sub-Zero back, but I don't think she's going to get Sub-Zero back. I think she's going to get Noob and have to deal with him. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Yeah, the flamethrower is back. It's a restand. The hover looks sick. It'll just avoid like uh, low pokes. It's basically like your MK11 short hop, but in MK1. Our goal is unchanged. And then she has like a double jump, a triple jump, a quadruple jump. And here's the part where she kicks everyone in the Mortal Kombat universe. <laughs> and the fatality, the fatality is sick, I gotta admit. Like here, it reminds me of Peacemaker's jetpack fatality, but she goes to effing space, bruh. For what reason? I don't know. She freezes you with the atmosphere, then she burns you up on re-entry. And by the time she lands, there is literally <laughs> nothing left. <laughs> Holy. And then she turns into a big ass rhinoceros just to finish it off. <laughs> a yo. We're gonna run it back one more time on mute. See if there's anything else that I missed. And then we'll wrap it up. I think we I think we got everything. Oh, also, so people have some people have been saying that uh, Cyrax and Sector are the new Jackie and Cassie. Not true. If you actually look at the characters, uh, Sector looks nothing like Cassie, like not even a little bit. And Cyrax and Jackie also have completely different face models, voice actors, and everything. They're completely different characters. But this is Jackie Briggs' model back here. This Umgadi, that's, I mean, it's a little bit different as well, but in the story mode, there was a Jackie Briggs Umgadi there was a Jackie Briggs constable. So they are still using the model that they use for Jackie Briggs. They're just using it for background characters. You could probably say this is a Cassie Cage Umgadi as well. There's another one behind her. So maybe that one's Cassie. Look, this one, uh, I don't know. But yeah, the thing is Jackie and Cassie are not here in this timeline as they used to be. Um, which is obvious because Johnny Cage has no kids in this timeline. He's not even with Sonya in this timeline. Jax also doesn't have any kids that we know of. I mean, uh, they're just also younger. Like, this is a rebooted version where the original Mortal Kombat characters are pretty young. So they're not really old enough to have adult kids. That's the reason why Takeda is now Kenshi's cousin and not his son. Because... They're like the same age in this timeline. Uh, Kenji is definitely not old enough to have an adult child. So there aren't combat kids. If the characters do exist, they have been reused and reimagined. But here's, so this is why I'm saying that this looks like maybe it's a meeting between the Sub-Zero and Sector and then Scorpion and Cyrax. Because you see Cyrax and Sector are already on different sides. Cyrax is standing behind Scorpion. So I think this is after uh the wedding after scorpion and cyrax met up and talked to each other and that scene from the i think it was cyrax's trailer where scorpion is like you know don't we know each other don't we have a, a good rapport good relationship how could you do this i think he kind of convinced cyrax to join his side of the argument then we have one of our chaos skins is going to be uh this world war ii johnny there's also a Chaos Katana skin in this trailer as well. Um, I think this is a shot from the wedding. But we will see. 
and then this is the meeting. Look, I think a bunch of Havocs show up. Are these all Havocs or are these all Chaos? Because that actually looks like it could be Raiden or something back here. Maybe these are a bunch of Havocs or these are just a bunch of Chaos characters. Because we do know that Chaos Takeda and Chaos Kenshi show up here. Now, another thing, here's what I'm hoping for. If you have been like unlocking skins throughout the season, you'll know that they have been saving the Order of Darkness skins and the Union of Light skins. Those were from the original story mode when there was the big battle between all the evil characters and the good characters. Those are the skins that they were awarding as like Combat League skins, as Shrine skins sometimes, and also um, Seasonal Store skins and all of that. They have kind of almost given out all of the Order of Darkness skins for every single character. So, if you've looked at the Shrine recently, there's not a lot in there. If you looked at the Seasonal Store, there's not a lot in there. And then even this recent season of Invasions, there's the Order of Darkness skin for Shang, and there's the Order of Darkness skin for Quan Chi. But the Elder God skin this season is the default skin for Ermac, because he doesn't have an Order of Darkness skin. I'm hoping that we're going to get the Chaos skins in the future now, instead of the Order of Darkness skins. Because um, it seems like there's a lot of different designs for different characters that we can have going forward. So that might be the way we unlock Chaos Kenshi, Chaos Takeda, Chaos Katana that they're going to show a little bit later. Um, and other skins. See, this is Chaos Katana. Now, there was like a Chaos Season that gave everyone a mohawk. But this is an actual, like, this is a completely different skin from like, Katana's uh, usual. So yeah, I guess uh, Havoc does show up with a bunch of different Chaos versions of the character. Wait, is this supposed to be Chaos Garrus, or is this our Garrus? Because they are fighting him, so that could be a Chaos version of Garrus as well. Bro, this, look, <laughs> this Jack's gotcha grab is insane. He just comes in and says, no, Darius, I gotcha. If you look back here, you can see Chaos, uh, T Kenshi, and Takeda. So, yeah, I'm just hoping that we can unlock all of these new Chaos skins for free through gameplay. Um, maybe some of them will come to the premium store, but I doubt that all of them. I, I, honestly, I don't think they'll come to the premium store because they don't seem like premium skins. Like, maybe this Johnny Cage skin could be a premium skin. But I think these are more of, like, in-game unlockable skins. And... They need some new ones. They need a refresh of new skins because everyone is running out. I think the last person to get their Order of Darkness skin was Raiko. I think Raiko was the only one who didn't have his, and he got his last Combat League season. Still, there's more like palettes of his, his skin that they could give out. But once you get one version of the skin, then the skin is officially released, right? And then there's some characters like Kenshi's Order of Darkness skin. You get like one palette each season, so you don't have all of them, but they just recently gave us the gold variation of it, right? So it's not likely that Kenshi is going to have a, a Titan boss or his own combat league season where we get the uh, all the palettes of his Order of Darkness skin because a lot of palettes are already out via different like, uh, you know, free rewards or weekly challenges or... Uh, invasions mode rewards or stuff like that so yeah i'm just hoping that the new oh god that was violent i'm just hoping that the chaos skins start to replace the order of darkness skins and that we can get all of them for free through gameplay in the future if not they got to do something because there's nothing in the shrine recently there's nothing in the seasonal store recently they need some sort of refresh and i think that this is the refresh that we're going to be getting um which I'm excited for. So guys, that is actually going to be it. We watched it at least three times. Um, and I'm still going to watch it a bunch more times after this. But, boom! Tell me how you felt about Sector's gameplay and story trailer. Smash the subscribe button like Ryu. Spear the subscribe button. Smash the like button like Ryu. Spear the subscribe button like Scorpion. And kick the notification bell like Sector kicked all of those people in the head in a montage. But tell me how you guys felt about Sector's trailer. Are you excited for Sector? Um, I think I'm still, gameplay-wise, I'm still more excited for Cyrax. But 
Sektor looks cool too. I think um, this this got me hyped for the story a little bit more. And also, like I said, we're only 20 days away from Chaos Reigns actually dropping. So it's getting real. Like it's getting very real. We should probably get a Noob Cybot trailer in a week or two. And then as soon as we get that Noob Cybot trailer, we're gonna be like Chaos Reigns is gonna be right around the corner. We'll probably get the Noob trailer right before the release of Chaos Reigns. Maybe the week before maybe the day before uh either way i'm gonna do another reaction whenever that drops i am very excited to see how noob plays he is one that like I'm, i've never been a huge noob cybot fan but i think that i'm gonna like the way he plays in mk1 i love to see like i think he actually played pretty cool in mk11 which is rare you know a lot of characters were kind of lame in mk11 but i think noob actually still had a cool design i'm ready to see a more combo heavy version of noob cybot coming into mk1 and maybe he will be one of my favorite characters either way i'm i'm pretty sure i'm going to be playing all three of these characters on the channel for different new main alert videos so you can look forward to me trying them out anyway. And week one, I am 100% going to be running through the story mode. I think day one, I'll do a live stream. We'll start the story. And then after that, I will do a recorded videos to finish off the story. We'll add them to the, the playlist of Mortal Kombat story that we already have. And also, I'm thinking about replaying the, the beginning of the story. Because uh, it's been a while and I need to refresh my memory also. The first time I played it, there was a little bit of graphical glitches, a little bit of stuttering and hitching when I played the story. So I kind of want to do another fresh take on the Mortal Kombat 1 story. But yeah, that is going to be it for this one. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I got a brand new video coming on Friday, as we always do. Friday at noon Eastern time, I got a brand new video. It's going to be a first and final video, but I'm not going to tell you what for because I want you to actually watch it <laughs> and not avoid it like the plague. Um, so check that out Friday noon Eastern. I got another video that I'm working on for next week and then The week after is actually going to be the one-year anniversary of Mortal Kombat 1 So I have a special Mortal Kombat 1 video plan as well after that and then the week after the one-year anniversary Chaos Reigns will be here I think the first thing I'm gonna do is play with Cyrax the week after that, I'm going to play Street Fighter 6 with Terry, and then we'll come right back to play with Sector and Noob. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Very, very excited for Chaos Reigns. We also got to go through animalities. Uh, we got to see if there's any new content. And I'm, I'm going to do my basic, you know, what I do every time there's a new season. We're going to check out what is in the shrine, clear out the shrine. We're going to check out what's in the seasonal store. Usually there's only one new character, so I go into training mode and I just see what all the new characters moves are. But we got three new characters, so we're going to have to do that times three. Um, and yeah, there's going to be a lot of content as well because we've already seen there is a lot of new cameo moves for different cameos. Um, so there will probably be a lot of patch notes to go over. And we still don't know if there's character changes. We don't know... Uh, the extent of the cameo changes there could be more than we even expect so i'm very very excited um the takeda patch had me excited for the game because there was a lot of changes there but this is going to be major three new characters a bunch of new cameos game changes then there's like the cosmetic changes like the new menu the new maybe that uh warrior shrine thing is open that they never even revealed or never never told us about um oh and also I, I wonder if we're gonna get a combat cast i think we should right to help explain some of all of this stuff so look forward to a combat cast whenever they announce that and yeah i'm just excited to be back in mk1 so guys i will see you next time in another new one tell me how you felt about sector or anything else coming in chaos reigns and i will see you guys next time in another new one peace out there's bug skin a couple times i do still play bugs and it's a pretty solid skin. This Steven skin is okay. I probably I like the suit skin better, I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, here's that Adam skin I was talking about. We got a garnet Extra skin, thick. And we got samurai jacket. A foolish samurai warrior. Yeah. Extra thick. Oh, yeah. Extra thick.